Hey everyone, I want to talk to us today about making public statements. Uh, we live in a day and age where things are happening in our communities and people want to know where does the church stand on this subject? This can be a touchy subject because we can be afraid we're going to offend people because often our views are different than the prevailing views of the culture in our world today. Um, but it's a good thing when people are asking what we think because they know we're there. Unfortunately, there's a lot of communities with our churches and ministries that are not asking that because they've forgotten we're even there. One of the big challenges a lot of pastors have is changing their church's reputation and trying to make a bigger imprint in their communities. That really happens when we start assessing our core values. What do we believe in? What do we really stand for? You know, the more we pray for those things, the more we're going to become those things. So how much do you pray into your core values? And do you have a core value that speaks to your community? Is there a core value that actually shows how much you love the city that God's called you to be a part of? Um, I've been praying that our churches would make a bigger imprint in our communities and that our communities would say things about our churches. There's five things I've been praying that our cities would say about you. Number one, I'm praying they'd say, my church loves us. They cheer on our local teams. They buy our local products. They're champions of local enterprise and they celebrate the local wins. Not just from your pulpit, but somewhere in the city that you celebrate when your city wins, you win. Love to hear your city say, my church helps where it hurts. That's where we are developing people as good citizens and meeting the needs. Ask your city leaders what they need and try to be a part of meeting that. One of the great uh, ideas I've seen is how churches are providing chaplain services for businesses in the local context. What a great idea. We need to be loving our city and loving the center and not just seen as somebody condemning things in our world today. Number three, I'd love to hear cities say, my church cares about kids and families. We do that by helping families and impacting the home. How do you prioritize kids in your ministry? Um, we should always be at the front lines when there's topics about safety and family values because that's what we believe in. Number four, I'd love to hear cities say, my church is involved everywhere. They're all over the city. That doesn't happen when we just stay on our property. We've got to volunteer. We need to show up at events. Uh, we need to buy the season tickets and serve on the teams that nobody else wants to serve on. We can't just preach these things to our people. We've got to lead by example and leaders, we've got to get out there and be involved in our city. And then finally, number five, I'd love to hear our city say, my church speaks up when nobody else does. We need to be controlling the narrative. We should be improving our media so that we can speak out of our churches into our communities in creative new ways. I'd love to see us broadcast testimonies of life change in our church better in creative ways in our cities. You know, the best public statements that you'll ever make are the ones you've already made because you've made a difference in your city. When your city knows that you love them and care about them and they trust you, when it comes time to stand up on a controversial topic, they'll have more grace and listen to the voice of truth that you are for the culture in our world today. Hey, always remember, walk holy, work hard, and worship Him. God bless.